Tonight, soccer fans are breathing a sigh of relief after the city council voted to bring Major League Soccer to Austin. But as KVU's Kaylin Norwood tells us, not everyone's excited about today's decision. Kaylin? Well, Mike, some are out celebrating tonight and are calling this a good deal. But others I spoke to say they're disappointed with the city because they believe this decision was rushed. That's the sound of victory from some of soccer's biggest fans. I feel like I've been holding my breath for the past month, uh, but we're, we're finally here and it feels good to take a sigh of relief. <laughs> Proudly sporting MLS gear, Ryan Riggins says he grew up playing soccer, and now to hear a team is coming to Austin, it's a big deal. He and several other MLS to ATX supporters spent the night celebrating at Haymaker near downtown Austin. I look forward to being able to walk to a game, walk to a concert festival with my friends. I think the deal that we struck by the end of the vote is a really good one. It's probably one of the best non 70 acre stadium deals in the country. That's council member Jimmy Flanagan. He along with six others voted in favor of Precourt Sports Ventures bringing Austin its first major league soccer team. This is after a city council Council spent hours Wednesday afternoon fine tuning the actually, agreement. Uh, I think we tightened up the language, we made the requirements clearer, we made the direction to staff stronger. According to the deal, McCullough Place near the domain will be transformed into a $200 million stadium on Precourt's dime. The stadium will have 20,000 seats with 1,300 parking spots. A city owned lot will also have 130 affordable housing units, a performance arena, green space, and trails. But this move didn't come without opposition. Some who live nearby are concerned with what comes with the new stadium and the process it took to get here. Well, there's going to be a lot of drinking involved with this game, and there's the streets already aren't too pedestrian friendly. The process, there wasn't a process. Uh, everything was done rushed. There was not an RFP. There was not a competitive bidding process. So it's disappointing. Some of the concerns have been about additional traffic and a lack of parking. Political Action Committee Indy Austin says it plans on drafting a petition in opposition to the stadium at McCollum Place. All right now, we don't know for sure if the Ohio team will be playing in Austin as early as next year. Precourt says it plans on addressing that soon. Mike Quita. Thanks, Kaylin.